Today's podcast is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Now gluten free. Well, I'm kidding. I I don't know if they're gluten free or not, but they are one of our sponsors. They're great. They have sleek RFID blocking wallets. Riffeted. And uh, I actually showed the girl at a restaurant that I ate at. I was like, yeah. This wallet's badass because she was like, "Ooh, what is that?" Oh, okay. I was and wondering. I, if you I was like, "Get one for your man." You've got two stories, and they're they're both about women complimenting your wallet. Yeah, well, you what? I'd also like to hear her side of it. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I, I well, doubt. She I was bet ex- she would excited. say he told me to go to ridgewallet.com forward slash Neebs Gaming and use the code Neebs Gaming to get ten percent off and free shipping. We'll see about that. We'll Good see stuff. if that's her story. Yeah. But Ridge Wallet is not our only sponsor. Duralius, can you tell us a little bit about our other sponsor who supports today's show? Navy Federal is proud to serve over 8 million members and is open to active duty military, the DOD, veterans, and their family members. Receive a lifetime of membership benefits like a credit card APR average that is 4% lower than the industries. Member-only exclusive rates and more. Visit NavyFederal.org backslash names for more information. Call 1-888-842-6328 or download the Navy Federal Credit Union app today. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Insured by NCUA. All those sponsors. Yeah. We love them. Yeah. Yes, we they do. keep the lights on. They do. Along and with uh, you folks who, who subscribe to us. Neves, what are you doing? Turning my phone down because Thick will have a cow if I don't. Thick will? He mainly, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, he's he's. I thought the... Simon was the big cow haver. I'm just mad. I got. I'm I'm kind of numb now. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like thick makes the biggest fuss. Well, mm-hmm. I'm just respectful of people's time. I'm not a cow haver. I'm gonna start with something. <laughs> okay. Um, a slumber story. So you know, you ever had those dreams that you know you kind of wake up and the funk lasts with you, with you for the day? You know. You, yeah. You ever have those? Yeah. Like it actually like affects you a little bit emotionally. Yeah. So I had one of those last night, right? I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. I always find that interesting. And I still feel it a little bit. But the curious part is I woke up this morning facing the, like my head was at the foot of the bed. I don't recall that at all. Yep. Your mind's slipping. Aliens. Maybe. Aliens. That's, that's it. That is I mean, it. It is it. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly you were abducted last night. My butt's fine. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dude, but, you don't have to be. They go in through different ways. They have different yeah. ways now. Yeah. They, they quit doing yeah. the butt. That's old tech. Oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. yeah. That's mm-hmm. from like the 70s. Like a, like a wives tale. Yeah. Huh. No. I, I mean, wonder they, what they did. No, they, yeah. they, just, they just advanced forward. Now they go through your nose. It's very, very, it's like you don't even feel it. It's not intrusive. Yeah. The it, aliens are getting smart. It really threw me for a loop though. It really did. Because I'm thinking through the night, like, did I go to the bathroom and then go, why, but why, why is the question. Maybe. But slept walk. Well, now we need to know what your dream's about to really break this down. Well, I don't need to get into that because well, it was a was funky break one. Like a, yeah. There was no break dancing involved, no. No what? No break dancing? Did uh-huh. you say break Flipping? Dancing? Yeah. No, no. Building, Nothing falling? Like that. No, there was no, uh, it was not Were, were you fishing? Swimming? Nope. nope, that wouldn't add a funk to the day. Yeah, I mean, it could. Yeah. If you were, Depends if you, ended if you up, didn't catch any fish, right? Or if you that caught things that weren't fish, and you're like, "Damn, that bummed me out." Did you get diddled by aliens? Well, that's, that's, that's what we're... anyway, I just thought it was interesting. It added more confusion to the day. We'll put it that way. Okay. Nothing? Well, now we know that you're in a funk. Oh no, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. You sure? I mean, that happens. You've never had that. No, I have yeah, had yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's right. pretty rare. Yeah, it is rare. Thankfully, guys, just keep an eye on Doralis. Make sure he's okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. Just keep an eye on. <laughs> We're good. What did we'll you see. eat today, Doralis? What did you end up eating today? Dan Dan noodles. Well, you shouldn't start the day off with noodles when you've had a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like, saying. It's well known. It's a rookie mistake. Honestly. I mean, come on. You got to eat more vegetables. Oh, raw, there are vegetables in there. Do the raw. Right. Raw can we, vegetables. Since we're talking about food now, can we talk about Simon's ordering habits just for a second? Yep. Yeah. I know God. we've done it before. <laughs> yeah. But today I did it. Today I did it. Today you joined me in App Store for lunch. First yeah. of what all. What do you mean I, today you did it? You do it every time. No, I don't. I, I, yeah. I thought no, the dream thing up. and the sleep thing might have maybe like <laughs> sparked. No, it just led into Simon yeah. ordering Simon's habits. Simon's eating habits. Carry yeah. on, please. <laughs> I, I didn't ask for this. So here's what happened. I ordered my food. Abstro ordered his food, and I started watching TV on one of the many TVs in this restaurant. And I think two commercial breaks happened, and I looked back at Simon. He was still ordering, asking, "What kind of cheese is it? Can are there onions on it? There are. Can they be uh, sautéed, caramelized, or sautéed before they go on?" Oh boy! Can you replace it with shallots? And then like, I I can't even remember all the details. I know before he left, he's like, "Can I get can I get my drink to go?" Oh, actually, I don't want lemonade though this time. This time I want to. What what other drinks do you have? Oh my god! 
just on and on. I got it done. <laughs> I got it done. <laughs> I love, I love hearing you <laughs> exaggerate. It's so fun. Astro is not much of an exaggeration. It's not. Oh, it's, no. It happens every time we go I, to eat. I believe you guys. And, I, and like, I, get, I get tickled by it every time. I think the last it's time like we were... This poor waitress. Here she comes. She's going to have to deal with this shit. She has no idea. Last time we were at the sawmill, I think he went over... He, uh, he was asking about the three specials. He's okay, what about this special? Does it have this? Okay, what about this special? And this special has this? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to have a burger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They it didn't sound all the good. After it didn't sound yeah. good. What are your specials? So now, because I ask what what are your specials, I'm now obligated to fucking. Well, you buy were asking one about them. details. Them. It was like chicken Alfredo. No, I want to know what they They're were. They're on the sandwich board as you, you walk are, in. You guys are insane. <laughs> they you lose money because no. of you. You exaggerate yeah. everything. As long as you end with saying thank you for letting me waste your time, and then yeah. well, it usually starts with I hate to be that guy. But I'm that guy. It does usually need start. To, I uh, need to make that shirt. I hate to be that guy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> You've made me so self-conscious about it that now every time I order, I pay attention to it. And sometimes and you still I will. It. Like, it's crazy that I ask for the onions to be uh, sauteed, sauteed yeah. before they... Because... If because, that was the only thing, you know what's insane? <laughs> but there were twenty four things you asked yeah. for. Is when is they, your eggplant is that is, is that it a breaded, breaded eggplant? I wanted to know if it was breaded. I asked a question. I asked not a questions. question. I asked, asked I asked three questions. No. Yeah, three. What's the consistency of your meatballs, dear? God, I should have asked him if it was sliced or crumbled. Who the hell's crumbling meatball on a slice? What? Why do people crumble meatballs on a slice? Well, if it's a it's full sli- meatball, it's, it's just a full meatball. Beef, you yeah, slice then. it thin I know, and I know. you lay them on I there. I know that's the way you. Would... That's how you do it. Yep. These people. I should have asked them that. I should have had four <laughs> questions for them. Is your meatballs crumbled? You fucking stunad. Because you don't understand how to put. Watch your mouth, meat Simon. What's a stunad on pizza? Nobody knows. Looking yeah. this up. I, I made that up. <laughs> Stunat is, I believe, I hear people use it as if they're saying stupid or stupid asshole or stupid person. Stunat a toi. So <laughs> I don't even know if that's what it means. We'll check up on that. You probably used it wrong. It's yeah. slang for a stupid person or an idiot. It's, yeah. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, Stunata. Stunata. Yeah. Stunata. Or people, but no, but a lot but of people. But I told some mozzarella. Yeah, you not don't, stunada. Right. You don't like add mozzarella. the air. There you go. Yes, yeah. stunada is southern Italian dialect for stupid or having one's head in the clouds and not paying attention. Yeah, like a stupid person. You're From an the idiot. Italian stunato, but which means out of tune. Mm-hmm. Subjective, though. That's it. That's fun. We, we learned a word. Yeah. Like stunata. Look at that. Yeah. But you got to add the A at the end. No. Un- unlike how you said it. You can no. do stunata or stunata. <laughs> you have no idea what you can do. Or not do. I'd love to see a slice I, I of pizza like with meatballs do. on the full meatballs, and they they're not attached in any way. They're just rolling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> they're just yeah, they're, they're just placed on yeah, top exactly. of the slice. Like they're those, carrying it like out those, like uh, on the tray, and they're just falling yeah, off. Yeah, it's like the, the pizza, lambs we got in Durham. Yeah, it's uh, oh my god. Let's not go there. The pizza <laughs> today. Not. The pizza today was. I couldn't believe how how much I thought it was pretty good. The fried eggplant, to ask if it's fried or oh. not makes a big difference. Their fried eggplant was freaking on the good. Pizza? It was on the on pizza? On the pizza, and it was thin, and it was very crispy, and it was good. I might like, go back. so odd. That, I haven't been there in years. Really? Like, I was so shocked that I said, well, damn, man. I'm going to go and get a slice next time. Then they'll disappoint me. Depends on what day you go. It I really know. does, yeah. I hate that. Consistency is a big thing. Yeah. At a place of eating. Yeah. Well, man, I'm glad everyone here is enjoying this conversation about I pizza. I am. I like very it. much. Very yeah. much so. I could talk I could talk the whole the rest of the time. Hey, everybody, just about pizza. yeah, everybody. Forget pizza the comments. Everybody can relate pizza to pizza talk. Food. Welcome to Pizza Talk, you can I, can I vent <laughs> Stunata. Can I vent about the post office for a minute? Okay, yeah, sure. yes, please yeah. do. I've told some of you this story, but uh yeah, so uh, someone from our community sent us a package. From uh, Australia. What is it? Express mail, mm-hmm. which costs more and guarantees it by a certain time. What they probably didn't tell this person, that is if we don't pick it up within five days, they send it right back to them. Crazy. Can you believe that? Five days. No. That is not long enough. You what if you were town, out of town? Right. And in our case, I checked the mail once a week. Yep. So I checked you it. You could miss. I checked it the day after it came. Yep. And then a week goes by, gone. Already sent back. That's what do you feel insane, like minimum it? should be? Like you think you had a good idea, or someone? Why said even it. send it back at all? That's the ridiculous well, part. They can't be a warehouse for for. But we're talking one week, and this is a PO box that we pay a lot of money That's for every true. year. They can hold it for a week. They can hold it for a month, depending exactly. on how big it I is. I understand. Yep. There's a cutoff where look, you got to pick this up. A or month. We're going to start charging you a month. 
Yeah. But five days is insane, post That's, office. Yep. But you should be able to have even more of a storage for, in, in the back for something like that for the rest of the year. And they should tell everybody before they pay that extra money for that, look, if they don't pick it up within five days, it's coming back to you. Because I don't think anybody would pay for that service at that point. Yeah. We can tell that uh, person that sent us that, hey, we sent you a gift. Yeah. You should get it soon. It's a re-gift. <laughs> I've already talked to her. <laughs> okay. We sent an express. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, the other we thing, get a before, lot of things. We, we get a lot of things for, from... I'm still, uh, I'm still venting. Oh, you're still venting. Oh, he's venting. Why, okay. Why? Damn, when you go to the here. post office and you got a little slip in your P.O. box that says you got a package, why, when you give it to them, do they act like it's an Easter egg hunt? Like, do they not have a shelf back there with letters and numbers on it? Seems like the point of the slip is for yeah, some organization. Yeah, here it is. It's probably on shelf two, uh, bin A. Mm-hmm. Straight to it. They go back. You hear boxes going. You hear them yelling. Steve! Listen. You seen this package? And they come up front and they ask the guy, the other guy, the thing. Shirts untucked. Like it's a mystery. They work for the government. They're not incentivized to be organized. That's why Amazon exists. Shelf Hmm. system. Well, we get a lot of gifts from our uh, community, which we certainly appreciate. The nice thing that you don't have to, like Bitcoin, if you want to send Bitcoin, there's no postage. There's no, uh, it's not going to get lost at the post office. It won't get (laughs) sent back to you. So just send us a Bitcoin. Send us a couple few Bitcoins. I don't think we need any Bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't know. I wouldn't know how to spend it. Or yeah, me do neither. I, I actually it. wouldn't know. You can, you can, you can go places Bitcoins. online. I mean, I'd probably music. figure it out, but right the off the top web. of my head, I'd be like, yeah. yeah. The dark, dark web, really? Yeah, gobble yeah, it go up. on the dark web. I'd like to go. You know spend what I'd like to do? dark Bitcoin. I'd like to go on the dark web and buy something that's fairly just simple. Normal. Yeah, just like a sweater. Yeah. A human arm. Yeah. A sweater with a human arm in it. <laughs> just attached to it. Yeah, like, like just to say that I was on the dark web. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the sweater but you never, the dark web. You never quite get out once you're in, though. You know oh. that? You're, you're painted for life. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, they know. Start showing up in all your searches. and your... Nah, you can get a VPN. <laughs> yeah, ads, human arm, they still arm know. ads on they everything you look yeah. at. Yep. Yeah, I still can't. Uh, Men in black get, following you. I still can't get away from those hentai pillow ads on uh, Instagram because oh, no. Astro said hentai pillow into my phone. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Ooh, waifu pillow. Yes, yes. Those are nasty. Simon. Hey. Yeah. That smile you have right now, it's so infectious. Isn't it? Yeah. I've, everyone here wishes they could see it. I say here. I mean, they are, they're imagining it. You're though. high on life. Man, oh man. Snorting life all day. Sno- all day, <laughs> life and all snooters. night. <laughs> life snooters, yeah. Yep. <laughs> see, Neeb's got to vent. I want to vent because while we were at lunch, I saw a commercial for the uh, for the army. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they make a fucking, they make that shit look like a video game. It looks like the same. It looks what, fun, doesn't it? What the hell? Yep. Because I mean, this commercial was literally like uh, it was about ten Humvees and maybe four helicopters following the Humvees, mm-hmm. just driving through a random field, mm-hmm. shooting guns. No, no, no that enemies. was it. No enemy uh, shown no, or any particular. They weren't at anybody. Just they were letting just letting them go. Driving through a fucking field, just, just shooting guns, wasting having a ammo. Good ass time. Taxpayer money to shoot away. They're like, join the army. <laughs> look at all the fucking fun you're gonna. Have. Well, in all fairness, I remember old Marine Corps uh, commercials where it looked like you were to be a knight that might slay a dragon. <laughs> yeah. was- <laughs> That's right. I do remember that. Is that what got you? <laughs> yeah, that was it. It's That's what got so me. Like, yeah, yeah, dragon. I fight a dragon. This shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. Because, yeah, your sword at the, turned yeah. into like the electric the, sword. The knight sword turned into the, you know, the. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, could, I could just imagine. <laughs> like, Private Duralius, for the last time, there's no dragons. It was Where just a fun commercial. <laughs> like, I mean, I appreciate the military, but it, they, they make it look so glamorous. The, uh, like, it, it's, yeah, right. it's just ridiculous. Yep. It's like, look at all this cool stuff you're going to do. And at the end, you're going to get a, a, a medal. Well, if they a ribbon if they show. You're, 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 you're like plowing a supermodel at the end. Well, you're shooting you a gun like straight ribbon? up in the air. Well, they tested the uh, the commercial that had them scrubbing toilets, and that just didn't test well, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Filing papers at a desk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that'd be an honest military commercial. Oh, just yeah. A guy scrubbing a toilet for uh, 25 <laughs> seconds, and the last yeah. five seconds just says, join the army. Yep, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, for me, the most effective ones are like the skills you come out of there with. Yeah, absolutely. That yeah. seems like the no, most that, positive and, that and one, real. Yeah, those those. Ones, I don't mind those as much. Mm-mm. It's like, but yeah, if hey. you're catering to a you know 16, 17 year olds getting ready, which to they are, graduate, mm. eh, it's probably more fun to yep. see the helicopters flying through the field. Yeah, no, mm. but it's it's just uh, as an adult, I look at that and it's like, man, that's a shitty marketing tactic. <laughs> yeah. I fly one of those helicopters in battlefield. <laughs> I can yeah. do that. I like ribbons. I'm gonna shoot a dragon with that. Anyway, that's that was I wanted to vent. 
Just because okay. I, I saw that com- uh, commercial, it pissed me off. Any venting on your uh, Simon? Let's mm-hmm. get some good venting yeah. now. Who's pissed off? Oh, I'm good, yeah. man. I'm gonna venting. keep it positive. Yeah, I don't know. You got you got uh, diddled by aliens. I last got diddled night. by aliens. I feel you great. Should be, you should be happy. Huh. I can't think of anything to vent about right okay. now. Well, you kind of did. It was like a counter vent to those ordering. <laughs> the, the <laughs> yeah, your meal order. Crazy ordering habits. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. It's okay. I didn't I mean to throw I, you. You guys are assholes. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm fine. I came in positive. Probably ne- leave negative, but mm-hmm. that's that's usually the effect we or have on each course. other. Yeah, mm-hmm. over the course of a day. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> mm. Is there anything in the, in the, in the news? Uh, someone woke up out of a 27-year coma. I think they fell in. Damn. I think it was, uh, I read it yesterday or something, but um, I think it was maybe in the UK, but I think. Went into the coma at the age of four. Wow. No. Yeah. 27 years. So we got a Nell on our hands, right? Kind of. Uh, like uh, in the way yeah. of like. I mean, holy that's, shit. That's, yeah. That's an I didn't read the specifics of it, but I just saw that. that uh, so that's, yeah, that's an adult with the mind of a child. Yeah, Interesting, but, right? Well, yeah. you're also curious on how that child, how that child's mind developed. Like was it. Being in a coma. Dream was state? it developing? Because. I mean, in certain ways, but it probably didn't learn fucking language. Uh, I might have right been hearing read. people a new language at four. It might have continued to hear people consciously know. the oh, entire I time. I have so many questions. Be playing audio of information. That's that's what I would constant. think. You know? you know, just like headphones. Hopefully, something boom would... like Spanish. Yeah, because you don't know English. Right? Like, a lot of people know. say that when they're in a coma, that they they were they could hear. Yeah, people. They could see people. Even if they it could... was like pockets of it through the twenty-seven years, if it was a year of listening, you might learn how to say bubble gum right. In the end. Yeah. Well, who the hell knows? They, this person might know how to speak completely right now. You don't know. I might don't. A, it might be an investment yeah, banker. I, could, I should probably follow Hope up on that Hope this person story. still isn't breastfeeding. <laughs> this this <laughs> situation <laughs> makes you waking up the wrong way seem pretty silly. It was just a story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's not saying. But his, I wasn't comparing. He's just not a on about how it's affecting his whole day. I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was a, yeah. It's a curious thing how a dream can affect you. I, I went to sleep when I was in, uh, four years old and I woke up. 27. And then 31. Rallies, 31. I woke up facing the foot into the bed. <laughs> yeah. You think that's something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel funky. <laughs> Good point. I'll shut up from now on. Are you starting, Neebs? Nope. I was looking at more stuff in the news. Uh, Could you hold the phone further? Well, listen, I can't see stuff I know, too man. close you up. Do you try right glasses? Now. Do you have glasses? I have some reading glasses sometimes, but I don't like carrying stuff around with me. <laughs> <laughs> as he as he runs into walls, yeah. <laughs> they just I don't, no I, depth perception. I don't like carrying shit around with me that allows me to see better. Yeah. He's gonna ask me to hold his phone from across the room so he can read it <laughs> soon. <laughs> I'll get a tablet for a phone. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, who wants to start it up? I'll start it. I haven't started in a while. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I you can't, know what? I can't honestly say that it's because not, I don't remember. Yeah, it's, it's not fine. worth talking there, about. Go. Okay. There's a lot of things you don't remember that you should do. Uh, one of those games you play, sharpen your brain. You see the commercials all the time. I, brain I don't know. I think any game's a brain brain sharpener. Brain, brain I play that damn uh, matching game with my little daughter. You know the little cards? Oh, Match.com, right. Not Match.com. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Let's find a I, new mommy. I swear to God. I'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a now. <laughs> uh, no, but I'll flip over the same damn card. Like, I, my mind is going oh, to shit. Yeah, it's nice. like, ah, I got the lobster again. And, and, then I'll, <laughs> and I was like, and, and I'll flip over. Oh, it must be over here. Yeah. It's a kitty cat. And then the next turn, it's like, Ah, uh, lobster. lobster. Oh, it's right here. It's <laughs> yeah. kitty cat. Yeah. It's the same damn shit, man. It's sad. It's sad to watch. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I don't know how many times we've gone to a restaurant and you're like, we ready? And we're like, no one has their change yet or their cards. And you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> no one ordered yet. <laughs> Simon's still ordering. Yeah. yeah that's, that's me. <laughs> Can you saute these onions, please? <laughs> this is Burger yeah. King, sir. Is your eggplant baked or broiled? <laughs> It's good eggplant. Broiled it. <laughs> <laughs> Is sun dried an option? Oh God! <laughs> Eating. Uh, never mind. Uh. All right. Uh, my first comment is from Jonathan Nye. It's from the latest Ark video. Oh, uh, Ark. The one where Snickers dies. Aww. Rip Snickers. Uh, that was the first time I've ever seen anyone try to attempt the forbidden zone. Word of advice, auto turrets do significantly, I believe, 80% less damage to corrupted creatures than they do normal creatures. I would recommend a Giga Mm. 
for the Wyverns and maybe some high-level enforcers with lots of health. You guys are very brave, though. May Snickers rest in peace. That's called- considered the Forbidden Zone? I mean, I can I, understand I, I can that. see that, yeah. yeah. I mean, this, like, you, you walk in there, and it's like, oh, there's six wyverns, and oh, look at that, eight corrupted gigas just walking yeah. around. Yeah. I'm not going in there. No, that's jacked. Yep. I think what I would do there, like, if I had a group of enforcers and I wanted to level them up, I'd probably, like, try to draw some higher-level things out, kill them with, with all the enforcers, then heal up, draw a couple th- couple yeah. other, you no know, high No spoilers, level- but I'm curious what, what we just got. What, oh, yeah. What that would do, like, mm-hmm. just going in full. You know. Well, I wonder because, like, uh, like, when we had the Giga in the past and we tried to fight another Giga, we just got murdered because of that stupid gameplay mechanic they have in there where the Giga that you have that's a high level is weaker than a fucking wild Giga. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, but I don't know, know, know if that works, works yeah. towards corrupted Gigas. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So science. I'd love to see an Enforcer swarm. I, I feel like, like the corrupted, going the in corrupted there. Wyverns... Um, they kind of went down like quicker than I expected them to. There was a couple that did not. Okay. Yeah, I guess it depends on their level. Yeah. I suppose. How, how high level? Uh, very they're similar high. comment, but um, just a little. Anyways, Catherine Denman says, just friendly advice. If you have uh, more than one high-level enforcer, you should be able to kill those wyverns much easier. So she had a different uh, strategy and said, bring an owl with you for healing, but keep it far away. No. And she yeah. said, I can't wait for you guys to fight the Desert Titan. Yeah. Hey, hey. Huh? forward to that. Uh, well, this episode of Comment on Comments will be out after that because I think that comes out this, this weekend? weekend. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so we we fought a desert. Oh, so Titan. you can talk about it. All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I wasn't we need here. a new strategy for it. <laughs> yeah. It just takes so much to kill it. Like we we were sitting there. We we expended all of our ammo. And I wasn't with you guys. Like, yeah. So we yeah. Didn't have yeah. The, yeah. You been it. there? It would have gone down immediately. Yeah. No, I know. So I apologize. I went home for Easter. So. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, even if you were there, it's like we, uh, I mean, it, we managed to maybe get it like close to half. Really? But that was after what, like two hours? It was Forever. stupid. Yeah. Wow. So we we got to the point where we're like, well, this ain't happening today. Yeah. Strategy number hate two. Hate I missed it. Yeah. Hate, I, hate I missed it. My next comment is from Brittany Burton. It's from the Satisfactory video, which yeah. I'm having a lot of fun playing. Uh, she says, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this or not. If you look inside the hub where you research things... One of the screens has a little Neebs Easter eggs text. Go read them and you will see it. And I think I know what she's talking about. And I think it might just be coincidence. Okay. But it it blames, like if you get an error, it blames it on someone named Simon. I'm guessing there's someone named Simon. Who it's works just at interesting. Common who, name. Who, yeah. yeah. Interesting yeah. they blame anyone though. And like, yeah. The other thing is that the, the name of the computer there, the lady who talks to you is Ada. Mm, yeah, yeah. But I guess Ada was the first coder. I don't know. I I heard that. No, it's, they're just, they're just big Neebs fact, gaming fans over there. It's satisfactory. It's the only is what abs- it is. Yeah, I don't know. We could ask explanation. Them. I mean, but you, we've you, we've had contact. Yeah, I'm them. I'm in direct contact with them daily. Oh. Oh. No, oh. not daily. Oh. Not daily. Oh. You're sleeping <laughs> with one the of them. I am not. Oh, 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 oh. See if they can saute any onions. Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. I tell you, the way they did their onions normally, it's insane. What? Big chunks of freaking onion, and it's like, and it's like a whole shit ton of raw onion on a slice of pizza. Who the hell wants that? Nobody. No, nobody. Not one person's no, ever wanted nobody. that. So this was the first time after getting like eight times of like <laughs> shitty onions. <laughs> yep. I said again. today, you know what? Fuck it. I-, I want onions, and I want them to not be shitty. Yeah, Simon. Way to so, go. So, yeah, you, you know what? The man. You did it. Yeah. That's empowering, huh? And you know what? Again, that's... critique me for that. That's a good counter story to the coma woman. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you think yeah. you Wait had it one rough. Up. Wait a one Seriously. They put one these up raw damn onions on my pizza. At least eight times. You know what else I had to start doing? I used to, like, try to order, like, the works, which is every... It's like a Supreme. And I'd say, but give it double meat. I want some more protein on there. And I had to quit because I always just ended up getting just a meat Same pizza meat. with double meat. Oh, <laughs> like the whole Supreme Works part of it. They just uh, it's gone. A bad part of it. Gone in their brain. Just a mountain of meat. Maybe you should we, start asking to go back there while they. Yeah, let me help you back there. Can yeah. I just watch? Yeah. Can I make my own pizza? Man, man, we got it rough. Let me write this down. It for you. really is. <laughs> uh, next comment is from Jose Madrano. Says, just want to say I love you guys. Been watching you guys for years. Always make me laugh. Got a whole family into this channel. 
Nice. Got my whole family into this channel. <laughs> it's just some random family. <laughs> Last week, <laughs> hey, I got grandma. my uh, Are You a Man shirt uh, for my wife, daughter, and myself. They love the shirt. My daughter asked me if I got a shirt for my two year, two month baby. I said no because they don't make uh, babies. They didn't. We don't fuck. make babies. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, they don't make them for babies. And she got mad. She asked me to spam this comment to see if y'all could make some baby merch so she could make with her sister. I don't I, know what that means, yeah. but she's still going to copy and paste this. Make with her sister? Yeah, that's weird. Easy. According yeah. to what Abstro says make means, it's yeah. good yeah, number two. I'd baby, love to see it. I'd love baby to see merch. it. Baby merch. Yeah. I can, I can reach out to, to Design by Humans. Yeah, we used to have onesies or am I crazy? Well, that I remember was when seeing... we were with Spreadshirt. Oh. Okay. oh. They were adorable, too. Mm-hmm. I saw one picture, that's all. Yeah. I'd like to see more. Yeah, I think. Uh, but like really small t shirts or onesies? <laughs> Rattles? Mm-hmm. Yeah, rattles. no rattles, diapers, no needs gaming diapers. Yeah, let's not be a choking hazard. We'll do the shirts, and we need to make sure that they're safe, mm-hmm. okay? Because mm-hmm. they're kids. The t-shirts. They're, who cares if they're safe? Our shirts are made dolphin free. Dolphin free. They are. As of just fact, last week, I believe. Just the kid ones. The kid, the adult ones are made with dolphins. It's one hundred percent dolphin. One hundred percent dolphin. <laughs> cruel. And they very cruel. <laughs> Uh, um, Maya B. Maya B. Maya B. May, my, 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 my. One of them. Maybe. Uh, we were talking about audiobooks earlier, and this is from the Amazon review video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It says, Dora's voice is so soothing and sweet, mm. I would totally buy audiobooks yeah. if I knew he was reading them. Right. On a slightly more serious note, though, I honestly love this series and hope it never stops. Keep up the good work, guys. Love you all. Wonder why you reading books is not serious. What's that, Neeps? Seemed to be a joke when she said that, and then right. she said on a serious note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't quit that. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to hear you do, uh, yeah, a sexy version of uh, was it Fox and Socks? <laughs> yeah. Fox. Yeah. I still can't get through that fucking book. I can't read very what the well. Hell right. is Fox and Socks. Stick to plain memory. Uh, yeah. Nope. I don't know Fox and Socks. Oh, that's nope. Dr. Seuss. Oh. Oh. But oh we can God. do. Oh, okay. We, but he should do like uh, classics. Classics. And we could just do we could do chapters. Listen, this is a way to make some money here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start charging like crazy amounts of money for because it's like it's art. It is. So a one audiobook it could cost six seven hundred dollars. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Or we could sell it for like a dollar. Right. Yeah. yeah. We'll think about more purchases that <laughs> way. Mm-hmm. Right. Can we just act them out too? Of course. I like to act them Sound out. Sound design. Like, Listen, I lo- I always wanted to do the old time radio type stories essentially which is what that would be what yeah. we could do scenes the sound effects or, and stuff yeah the, everything i, I mean, could just play do it. Uh, rhett butler from going with the wind did they have a radio show about that i don't know maybe that's not public domain but yeah it's probably, probably not. not like no, you gotta go with the that. wind anything before like 19 like teens you know uh most most literature Maybe like, like pre nineteen ten is is public, but uh, yeah, Prairie Home Companion they always did it really well with that one guy that's off to the side making all the sound effects during all their, you know, for the at the at home listeners. You hear the mm-hmm. guy like doing all the horse clacking and yep, <laughs> yeah, fix our guy. Yeah. All right, fix him, man. Yeah, thank God I don't have to read. Yeah, well, just have to no matter what, it's always a horse time. Yeah. <laughs> no. clack. Like that's not in the scene. <laughs> in walks in Doctor Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now we got an angle. There was a strong wind. <laughs> yeah. Dralis, can you bring up an excerpt uh from Fox and Sox on your phone and read it in a sexy voice? Can uh can we fill the gap with someone else's uh, another comment mayhaps? You got another one, Dick? Or are oh. you out? I think that's it. You are done. I got a comment from Space Laser. This is uh from the forest episode. And it said, uh, did anyone else realize that he could have just fired a flare at the plane for rescue? Just saying. And maybe, but um, I've been on planes, and usually when you're up in the air, I feel like all the windows are closed. Everyone's watching movies. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like yeah, That might have worked back in the day where people were looking out. But I don't no. think the pilot's window's closed, though. No, yeah, no. Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, if the plane's right below you, pilot ain't going to see that shit. Try to shoot it over the nose. I missed... Uh, Pro tip. I'm sorry, I was reading this and getting ready. Oh, we were talking about the flare gun in the forest. Okay. To... Weren't you indoors when you saw the plane? 
No, I can't. You're outside. outside. But I didn't have the yeah. flare gun yet. Uh, but so. you were to shoot. Yeah, but but shooting it obviously but, for the pilot to see it. But what that tells me is like there's a clear flight. Like one, that plane was pretty low, so there's an airport not far away. Yeah, it's on a uh, <laughs> yeah. right. Two, it's like there's a, that's a flight path. Yep. That probably daily go over constantly. Probably so, daily. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll keep an eye out for any more planes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and True. we got a flare gun and a Denny's. We, we got an SOS. Uh, I think somebody built like an SOS thing on the beach. So yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. we'll get rescued. It'd All be great. Right. All right, I, I could do this, um, but I will warn you, it does get kind of pornographic. Not Fox far and in. Socks? Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, a lot of tongue I mean, twisters. You just, I wanted to, short. you know, if your kids are listening. This is a Dr. Seuss book. Yep. If your kids are listening, go ahead and just a fair this warning. This is really all. a Dr. Seuss. You ready? This mm-hmm. isn't a Dr. Seuss. Here go. we go. This is uh, Fox and Socks by Dr. Seuss. I'm just going to go up until the pornographic part and I'll stop uh, shortly after that because I don't want to go any further, right? Fox, Socks, Box, Knox, Knox and Box, Fox and Socks. Knox on Fox in Socks in Box. Socks on Knox and Knox in Box. Fox in Socks on Box on Knox. And this is where it gets a little rough. <clears throat> Chicks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. I'm not going to go any further. I just can't. What are, what are they not in good conscience. I was, I was just women, into it. I think yeah. you need to see. Are the these pictures. women construction workers? What's going on <laughs> no, here? I don't know. I don't know the book. I, I think there's. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, and come yeah. C O M E. I was. I was. I was. I was. Ah, yeah. it's not C O M E. So I thought. I thought we were going to go to the, the Cox angle, like chickens. Yeah. Who knows where he, Cox where come. his head was when he wrote that sucker? I, I remember saying out loud, trying to read that book to him, like because a lot of tongue twisters. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, just out loud. I was like, fuck this book. Like by page three for me. I was like, <laughs> I'm out. Can't, can't get through this. But like walking, reading, reading that book That'd might be, good. be cool. That'd be good. I don't mind. You know, people say the walking's overdone. There's that. I enjoy it. Yep. I just enjoy his, the way he speaks. Mm-hmm. We don't get enough anymore. I think, you know, we were What's so he spoiled. Doing now? Is he still in movies? I feel like I hadn't seen yeah. him in a while. He's he's he getting the, pretty old, but yeah, I know like, he's getting up there. He did the the monkey in the jungle book. I feel like that's the last time I saw him. Mm. What's he doing? He's got to be working. Let me see. Let he's me gotta see. Be like he's got to be working. No, he, no he's got to be like eighty. Right at I this mean, point, he something. probably picks a couple a year. You know, yeah, no, I mean, like, he can do what he wants. Absolutely, he might be tired of being in movies. He might be. Yeah, Sean Connery got there. He tried yeah. to drag him back for Indiana Jones four, and he was like, "No, nah, fuck it." Oh, God, yeah, he's, he said, "Nah, fuck I'm it." Gonna... Hey, fuck it. Doesn't he sound like this? It's not a good Sean Connery. Yeah, oh, he's, he's more like this. I'm, I'm not going act. to do that film. Thank you. Oh, well, that's, that's how he talks. That's he's a not. terrible Sean Connery. That was really. not. Yeah, it was. His? He sounds nothing like that. You not sound that. nothing. Sean Connery's like, I don't want to fucking do movies. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not Sean Connery. <laughs> that's Adele. You're doing Adele right now. <laughs> Adele. <laughs> that's what so, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was Adele. That's a perfect Adele. By the way, Christopher Walken, the last thing he did was a film called the war with grandpa and they're in post-production on something called Percy right now. So he's right. been consistent. Was, he hasn't missed a year. Is he, is he grandpa in the war with grandpa? Cause he's that Jerry. Would, okay. Which is grandpa. I hope that's grandpa. I don't you know, think he's filming? grandpa on that. I think De Niro's grandpa on that because it's, Oh yeah. De Niro musical porn title farmer in the Adele. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> In and out. Come over here. <laughs> All right, I got another comment from uh, Vintage Vino that says, uh, and this is also from the forest. Thank you, Neebs Gaming. A lot has happened in a couple of days. I'm from the Philippines, and unfortunately, I was able to experience a terrifying earthquake. Yeah. Uh, when the earthquake happened, I was terrified for my life and the lives of my family. Now I'm afraid of the aftershocks. I couldn't sleep, but thanks to you guys, I can sleep by listening to the podcast. Yeah. Thank you, Neebs Gaming. Craziness. Man, no. uh, yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. Take care. If Dryas can survive his ordeal, I think you'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. Let's, let's have a perspective. I would imagine, yeah, right. that, that, that would have to ruin your sleeping habits. Like experiencing a terrible earthquake like that mm-hmm. and then just like, oh my God, is this going to happen again? What? Uh, I'd be worried constantly. Yeah. I had not heard of this. It was, it was a very, obviously, it was about when you guys had heard of this. Uh, earthquake I, mean, I hadn't but oh, okay. I, 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 I mean he no. could be full of shit I mean, no I don't think he's full of shit I just wasn't sure if it was something <laughs> that it was like so big that we was in the news and I just missed it, it. probably was and we probably yeah, we just was missed just missed it. It. a lot in the news well that can't keep up with the news no, I read the crazy. news about every day or at least the headlines I'd yeah I missed that one 
I'm glad well, you're we're safe. And I hope, yeah. to, yeah, you I hope stay everybody's safe. safe. Yeah. yeah, man. Surviving an earthquake like that. Can't even That's imagine. Crazy. What's next? I got one more comment. Okay. That says, uh, this is also the forest. I hate to already ask, but what's the next series? Imperion Galactic, maybe? Uh, I don't know what the next series is because, yeah, right now we're working on getting PLGX yep. ready and done Woo. and over with. And then after that, we'll figure something out. There's also some stuff that we hope to return to. You know, yeah. they just don't finish the games. I don't know what they're waiting on. Raft is making progress, but mm-hmm. not done. Subnautica yep. uh, Snow Game. Snow Game, yes, you nailed it. Is uh, not done completely. Mm-hmm. What else? I don't know. Satisfactory is a new series, though. Mm-hmm. And that's like spacey. Yep. Yeah, and I'm enjoying playing that a lot. I like yeah. that, too. So, yeah, hopefully that'll continue. Yeah, the discoveries have been pretty cool. Like, I haven't played too far ahead in the game, just so those discoveries are new to me and interesting, and it's fun to figure those things out on yeah. camera. Mm-hmm. So, And um, I know Sea of Thieves has a big update coming out. I don't know if it'll, that'll be worth a shit, but I'll look into it. I have fun when play that, so I'd yeah. like to play it again. Well, I think this this new update's kind of more story-driven, so cool. it's meant for, you know, yeah, you know, go to point A, point B, you're actually following some sort of plot. And there was already at least one or two things that were new since we've last did it. So yeah, they, you would think mm-hmm. that yes. it's abs- no matter what it is, it'll be worth going back for one. Yeah, they've done a really good job adding stuff to the game, and they're still going. So good, good for the good for rare, for releasing an empty shell. Got a fascinating uh, article here. I was kind of like looking over the headlines, um, BBCing it up, and see if there was anything about that. But then I came across good old science and technology. This is kind of uh, this is nuts. An exhilarating implant that turns thoughts to speech. Scientists have developed a brain implant that can read people's minds and turn their thoughts to speech. Amazing. That's, That's, a, real? Do that? That's a real thing? Yeah, the team at the University of California, San Francisco, says the technology is exhilarating. They add their... Fi- uh, blah, 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 blah. Like uh, disease that diseases that rob the ability of talking. Oh. Mm. Um, the mind reading technology works in two stages. First, an electrode is implanted in the brain to pick up the electrical signals that maneuver the lips, tongue, voice box, and jaw. Then powerful computing is used to simulate how the movements in the mouth and throat would form That's different amazing. sounds. That's amazing. That's awesome. So the, it results in a th- synthesized speech coming out of a virtual vocal tract. I think that's awesome, <laughs> but you should have a button that allows you to Stop. control. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> like, otherwise, no. you have no inner monologue. Like, <laughs> yeah. look at that motherfucker right there. <laughs> it just yeah. says it out loud. <laughs> like, yeah. You, yeah. Well, nice like, ass. Just, yeah, you have that Whoa, in. What? Like, what? Wow. That's amazing. That wasn't me. That was my robot friend. <laughs> She's got some nice tits. Yeah. That's mind blowing. Oh, I know this dumb lady didn't send my package all the way back to Australia. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Who's going next? Well, uh, this was on uh, today's video, which was. I edited it, but I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Peekaboo. 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 And Gatboy says, the absolute joy this brings thick legit made me <laughs> smile. And you're, I, it made the title because it was so obvious yeah. how much fun you were having. I'm so full of darkness, but that game brings some sunshine into my life. It was fun life. to hear. Yeah. yeah. No, I, you, I you, could, were, you were winning, weren't you? Well, it wasn't just that. I think. Just hide you and felt seek like a to kid. Me. Yeah, you feel yeah. like a kid. It's, I mean, yeah, you're there. Like you, whether, even yeah, when you, I, even when you get caught, it's there's, it's exhilarating and it's funny. Yeah. Well, oh, it's always fun to be. Yeah, you're you're a prop, and you, then play you, it see, next time. you see like two people like hovering near you. It always just kind of makes <laughs> you smell like oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and especially when you're moving and you see somebody, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you're like a a tumbleweed flipping around. Or yeah, that's one of those games. That even if you lose, you just feel like you had fun because it is a simple hide and seek game. <laughs> and you're and you get to play as soon as you get caught. You're it's the, fun, yeah. Yeah. yeah, too. I mean, very simple. Yeah, it keeps you in. An app throw, you were, I believe you were a stool and you started like trying to get away and then you turned into a much oh, larger yeah. no, table. I made, a, I made a terrible decision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just, made a terrible decision there. I was like, well, oh, you God, were, what have I done? You were, you were, he was, was right on top mode. of you. Yeah. 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 No, there was yeah. no getting away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hunter Hirentig said, uh, same game. I approve. Maybe make a couple of these. And uh, now that Hunter said we can, we're good then. Well, thanks, Hunter. Thanks Thank for giving you, us Hunter. the green light. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Major Camo says, fun looking game. Only thing it needs is a timer for how long you can stay in the same spot. And yeah. that is a I, true I like that. simple. That would make it so much better. Yeah, you, no, it's like you, if you're in the same spot for like, you know, say 30 seconds, like all of a sudden you, you start beeping or something gives you away. You right. start smoking and then you yeah. explode. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe also, I still don't know what the arrows are. I don't either. I could not figure out what what. Yeah, they did. Google could tell you. Go through them though. Yeah, Google yeah. would tell you. Google could tell you. Probably. All right. Oh, you you know can what? search it. I wonder if there's speed. Let's find I out. I don't know. 
Maybe. Did it make but you go faster? If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's fun. It was uh, it was silly. Peekaboo. And, and people were Do saying you, like, well, go ahead. I didn't watch it. Did you keep that part where I was just like aimed at thick for a while? I don't know if you saw it. Like I saw him like at the very beginning and of the match. And you gave him a, a chance barrel. to go somewhere else? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, but he stayed right in that spot. Oh, and then you shot him. It was the whole like, yeah. you count to three and you move yeah. out of that super stupid spot. Yeah, he stayed yeah. there. That's in there. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm glad that made yeah. it. Yeah, no, most of it made it. I took out one because we didn't play for that long. <laughs> that video was only like 35 minutes of recording. But uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, partial Resident says, hmm, like Witchet, but not, which was like Gmod Prop Hunt, but not. And then I was like, oh, which it? I was curious. I looked at, I just looked at that game and it's maybe like a year and a half old or something like that. But it looks, if it is like the hide and seek game and essentially you guys prop hunt and this is the same, which it looks like it's a much more, uh, it's a cool looking style of animation that there's a lot of different things you can do in the game and it's essentially the same. So I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Sandwich it. Thick 44 is small, says. Thick 44 is very small. Mm -hmm. I found that interesting. Oh, okay. Because the name of the person it's like thick and the comment yeah. is virtually the yeah. same except for very. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, you so, can even turn myself into a newspaper. Yeah. Looks like TTH Tone Kid says, I feel like they should lose health for shooting inanimate objects. Otherwise, there is no challenge to being a hunter. I thought that that's was not a good a bad point, idea, too. Yeah. Cause yeah. You can't get hurt as a hunter. It's a big anyway. map, though. I mean, aren't the hunters in the hunter's job pretty hard in that game? Yeah, but why do they Unless have a health a bar at all? They good. have a health bar. Oh, that's a good point. There's no point of them having a health bar if, if your health can't go down. I think we missed You're, some things. We must have missed some. You can't stuff. like jump into them and hit them in the face with yourself. I don't know. That would seem like a strange thing to do if you're trying to avoid being seen. Like, they should, like, I'm um, sorry. But if, a, if there's a bunch of you, say there's 12 people hiding and you all attack them at once. There should be much more for the props to do, like, makeshift or be able to set up traps that are in the yeah. world already in place or, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. That stuff would be like different. that, that would be, would be cool. kind of neat. All right. So that's it, though. I'm done. Wrapped. Wrapped on comments, Simon. Good, good comments, Simon. That's a wrap. Good job. You can go home. Thank you. All right. Uh, my first comment is from uh, that um, uh, battle simulator game. What's that? Uh, tabs. Totally tabs. accurate battle. Yep. yep. From Ruin uh, asks, hey, Doralius, I'm pretty sure you watch Game of Thrones. And if so, which house are you rooting for? Do you? I, I do. Okay. I'm caught up. I caught up. The night I got back from Minnesota, I watched the most recent episode. I'm pretty sure it's going to go into the- And you like it? Yeah, I, I mean it's a quality show. That's all you can say. Very like, good show. I, I hate been, when people say, "Oh, you don't watch the, you don't watch this and that." That makes you not want to watch it. Well, usually, I've been really considering watching. It's this. a quality ass show. Now, it's a soap opera yeah, with soap wonderful opera, characters. Though, gonna, uh, yeah. with that was my biggest problem is that it seemed like a soap well, opera, and that's that just not my thing. It's, it's good well soap opera. written. Yeah, great right. characters. Writes wonderful female characters. To be honest, like they've like, never. I, I don't even know what I like anymore. Yeah, I hear you. I get you, but it's quality. Um, so my answer to that, which house, uh, without giving any spoilers, I thought about that. And I'm like, house me. I don't care what happens in the end. I just hope it is entertaining. You know, I could give a fuck. Is that who. a house or are you saying house I'm, you? I'm creating house me. You, house Is the Trellis. house I'm pulling for. Mm. Trellis house? And my entertainment, uh, you know, mm. being satisfied. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying? Well, you get I don't if care you had who to wins. pick one. No. Well, if I, I, mean, they, if I, I could do that because I, um, I have balls. I'm going for Huddle House. Um, yeah, Huddle House is a good option. No, I, I would go for the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the winter people. Ronald McDonald House. Winter House. Oh, the, the, um, Ice the House. dead things? No, 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 no. I'm pulling for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling for the dead to win. <laughs> uh, the no, there's the, the winter, Winterfell, right? That's like the, the yeah, place but the, where... I mean, the, but the whole sure, story makes them the... That's, that's who everybody's supposed to support. I know, that's why, that's why I go for it. Really, I, I mean, you know... How but, vanilla is that answer? Well, I... How how honest <laughs> yeah. is it by You're me dumb. saying that you if like I had good guys, if I had to pick <laughs> yeah, one, you pick the good guys, huh? I and like uh, all the people that are with the no, I those guys. No, no, they. Yeah, I hope Thanos wins again. Yeah, no, apparently he's got a cameo this next episode. <laughs> um, this is from I think the rest of mine are from uh, commenting on comments because I you know I had my little Easter break and I didn't have. So uh, well, can we can we can we talk about our uh, next sponsor before you even get into that? Wow, how rude of you! I yeah. know. Wow. Now let's do it. You know, you, it. you don't blame me. Blame the Endless Thread, <laughs> a podcast from WBUR and Reddit. 
Actually, we don't want to blame them. We want to thank them yeah, because we're they're. Yeah, yeah. We were kidding. Yeah. Oh, but that was fault. But that was the the segue that I, I have. So I'm I'm working with it. Co-hosted by Ben Brock Johnson and Amory Sivertson, Endless Thread delves into Reddit's vast ecosystem of online communities, exploring some of the most compelling stories the internet has to offer. Right now, Endless Thread is kicking off its latest set of episodes with a big topic, the strange history of vaccination and the rise of the anti-vaccine movement. With the Reddit community having deeply analyzed this strange polarizing movement, the special four-part investigative series looks into the winding story of scientific innovation, medical disasters, and online virility that radicalized new parents and created a movement that threatened to send us back to the disease-ridden dark ages. From on-the-ground reporting on a state of emergency following a measles outbreak in Clark County, Washington, to expert opinions on disinformation, the conversation with parents who actually aren't vaccinating their kids, this series seeks to disentangle fact from fiction at this pivotal moment in our nation's health. So subscribe to The Endless Thread on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you, Endless Thread. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a really good idea for a show because, mm-hmm. I mean, on Reddit, you have Endless Threads. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot to dive into on Reddit. Oh, shit. Because, yeah, yeah, I mean, God, every community has its own drama. I feel like talking about vaccinations and whether you're anti-vax or pro-vax is almost like talking about politics. Like, you well, Some can people can make be. Some people pretty angry, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I just like to stick with pizza. Yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> you know, be a... Uh, fun if we all had those um thought to voice uh implants and we did a podcast purely through that mm-hmm. all of us we don't talk the whole time <laughs> no. be interesting to see the free flow of that bitch. can you pick your voice like that'd be great if they had like i'm sure in time yeah give voices. it time thick i think it'd be cool to put one on someone when they're sleeping <laughs> i would know what happened to me last night if it was recorded yeah, yeah. you record it yeah how crazy would that be, be? Some crazy shit coming out of my mouth. Get out of my butt. Crazier than usual. Go away, aliens. <laughs> I wonder if it would translate. You're awake when they. If it would yeah, translate what? your what you think you're saying in your dream to to speech. That'd be cool. They should try that. Um, so this uh, my next one from comment in comments. Uh, Joshua Kristoff, almost two million subscribers. Can Ooh. you believe it? You guys are just shy of level cap. My family enjoys your content. Thank you for laughter and joy you brought into our lives, and that's always Ooh. been our goal. Beat level, level cap. cap. Once we cross mm-hmm. that we're threshold, coming like, for you, Mr. we're Cap. We're retiring, right? Well, I know. And Still that's, the plan? Yeah. And I'm I'm happy that we decided to do that. Mm-hmm. To yeah. just we it. were just talking about Charlie um, because after you brought up Star Citizen. Yeah, he put out a Star yeah. Citizen video. I, yeah, he follows that game uh, pretty closely. But yeah. um, just the way that game's coming along, it looks amazing. Uh, I still don't think it'd be ready for another 10 years, but (laughs) it's uh, like the procedural city that they have. They have a planet that's an entire procedural city Mm -hmm. that you can, you know, go out in space and then fly down to. But it looks gorgeous. And then you can land in a certain section that's like, I guess, the capital and walk around and just see the whole city, but then hop in a spaceship and fly out. And it just looks great. It's like the technology they got going on there is very damn impressive. Now, I'll tell you this, like when I have the game, and when I first started playing it, I think my PC at home has a 970 in it, uh, GPU. So I was getting max 24 frames per second. That sounds about right. Now, I think the highest I've achieved is 42. So they're optimizing it. So and that's with the 970. So maybe a 1080 or a you know the what's the other one? I don't know. That's out. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, shit. maybe maybe you get a better frame rate, but I know that there are still crashes because I crashed the last time I played. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, again, the game's not done, but I, I I'm impressed every time I see an update. Like they 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 I know they get a lot of flack for taking a lot of people's money and seeming like they're running, but it looks like they're taking people's money and actually putting it back into their game yeah. over time. But you're saying 10 years, just, though. And yeah. Then, no, I mean, so let's be realistic. Well, they're, what they're time getting, is it? They're also they're getting unlimited funds. It's like people keep funding them. So they're like, we're just going to keep making this game forever. And one of their business models is you can buy ships. Yeah, when they're crazy expensive. And you can buy like fleets of ships. Uh, there's some that I believe there's one that's like ten or $15,000. Can you test drive them first? That'd yes. be cool. Yeah, Take you it go down the- to the ship lot and <laughs> yeah, see a guy. They're going to love this ship. <laughs> and there are a ton of people out there with too much money mm-hmm. that just have nothing else to do with it that are really into this that kind I've of shit. I've never heard of charities. Yeah, right. 
Right. Well, I mean, or they give to charities and they also say, I "Well, fuck so. it, I've got I've got two hundred thousand of fuck off money That's for perfect. the whole year. Yeah. I'm gonna buy a ten thousand dollars ship in this Star Citizen game that I really like." Yeah. Uh, yeah, you would you would hope that is people with a a good amount of cash to blow. I mean, also, I mean, you got to have a decent, you got to have a pretty expensive rig to run that game. So mm-hmm. yeah, it makes sense that a lot of their donors are uh, the the wealthy class. Oh, PC mm. gamers. Uh, right, right, right. This is from Faith Slayer, the Faith Slayer. Um, is there some sort of rule that limits Duralius to only getting his comments from Scrap Mechanic? Is that from Scrap Mechanic? You're breaking no, the rules. No, this is from comments. And a co- You're yeah. breaking the rules. So no, there's right no rules. But I didn't have a scrap come out the last, uh, you know, last week. So um, no, but like if generally, if we have edited the video, um, we pull comments from that yep. usually typically yep um so that's just kind of the overall general that rule. way you know that's a good way for uh, us not to double up on comments exactly accidentally. yeah so there you go oh is that what we do kind of yeah, just whatever you want just you do it. everything okay. usually i just uh, you do whatever you want yeah usually i stick the videos <laughs> i've edited rebel. because I was like, All right, no one else is gonna pull from this so i'll pull from this i might so, um, Fade Over 9000 asks, can you guys do Conan for beginners like y'all did for Ark? That would be awesome considering the game hardly helps. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Conan's a much more complicated game. Yeah, it? there's so many layers to the crafting and the it's it's a little overwhelming at first for sure. But yep. wasn't the first episode of Ark called Ark for Beginners just because it was a good but, way to... But I also did, I cut a video that kind of showed you which weapons and tools are the best to build in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. talking about that one. Maybe okay. so. Um, I, well, I feel like with Conan, it's it's a little bit more spelled out. Like if you if you go into the menus and you look at your journey, your journey. like yeah. it clearly That's it, true. like Ark doesn't have that where it kind of gives you here's your next goal to achieve. Like Ark has no goal seemingly. It's just yeah. like all right, eventually you know collect a bunch of artifacts eventually and good luck out there. Yeah. But, uh, That's yeah, a good C- point. Conan actually has these journey steps that you can take. So there's your pro tip. Yeah, your pro tip is if you start playing Conan, just follow the journeys. Yeah, well, most of these games though, if you got a laptop open beside you with Wikipedia, up, doesn't help. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't yeah. hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, God, this what Minecraft was back in the day when it first came out. No, like it was you know people were making discoveries about things you could uh, create put together in, in the crafting station. Yeah, that was and exciting was like, times though, right? Yeah, it was like because no one knew anything, and then like some jackass would just put a couple things together and it's like, oh, I made a fishing pole. I gotta get a line. Tell you, it's Why are they a, a jackass, pole. though? Yeah, that's what mean makes them a hearted. jackass? I don't know. He knew them personally. I just, I just like <laughs> I just like the word jackass. Sure. Mm-hmm. Not a, what was the other word? Stunad. 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 Some stunad making fishing, fishing poles. poles. Hey, I made a fishing pole. Well, my last comment is from, uh, oh no. Um, oh yeah. What are your thoughts on tortillas? I don't like corn tortillas, but I mean... And I've had a couple of good ones. Sometimes I'll have Me good ones, too. but for the most part, most of them I don't like. I'm with you. I don't like the um, the consistency. No, not at all. But I mean, but I've had good ones where and I went like, "Holy shit, this is really good." Tastes Me too. like the flour, but with more flavor. I, yeah. I'm when you make you. them at home, they're not as good as the good ones that you get at a restaurant. I think. I, I like all tortillas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, for you. that's it. Uh, I like, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a flour tortilla guy if I had to choose because, yeah, the corn ones taste weird to me. And I like them crispy. Okay. I don't want a floppy-ass tortilla. I okay. want you, I want you to cook a little bit. I like crispy. to uh, omit the tortilla if possible. Like right. if I get fajitas or something, like just bring me a bowl. Yeah, but you, but, a but you usually don't do that. What are you talking about? When you get a quesadilla fajita... At the place down the block, oh, fajita quesadilla, you, or, or fajita quesadilla. Oh, that's different. You never order if I get it without. Fa- if I get fajitas, which I think is what I said, what did I say? You did no. say fajitas. You did. Yeah, when I get fajitas, a fajita quesadilla is a whole different thing. Oh, okay, that's true. What about tacos? A, there's a tortilla too. shell on yeah, that. I think tacos, is what he was I like prefer, a crunchy yeah. taco. A crunchy taco. Yeah, which was actually invented by Taco Bell. Swear to God, that is such an American thing. Yeah. Um. I think the the biggest downfall of a corn tortilla is the surface area because they are smaller. Yeah, generally, you know, How even the Taco bigger Bell ones are. Been around because nineteen. Crun- it was founded in nineteen fifty three. Crunchy. I think it was May. I've seen crunchy tacos all my life. It came over. Oh uh, well, yeah. With Christopher Columbus, I believe. fifty seven years. Taco Bell started March twenty first, nineteen sixty two. All my life because yeah. I mean, I never saw a Taco Bell till I was like eighteen. Hmm. We didn't have them in my town growing up. Mm-hmm. But you always had the, was it Ortega? Or like yeah. the oh, sure. crunchy shells in the grocery store? Yep. But they actually invented the crunchy taco. Mm, yeah, and it's, again, it's, it's a very American thing, like he said. It's so much. Chick-fil-A's yeah. been around 72 years. Wow. And they, yeah, obviously they didn't really expand for quite a while. Right, because 
McDonald's has only been around 64 years. Wow. And they so. invented the bun. <laughs> okay. The crispy bun. Mm. I'm, I, didn't, I don't have any more comments. I got Oops. one. Uh, let's see. I got more than one. I'll read one. You ready? I'm, I'm, barely, I'm barely ready. I'm barely I'm ready, ready to. Well, take a minute. I'm dying. Tell me now. What is, it? what is it? Tell From me, please. From Courtney Purvis. And this, uh, this says an hour ago, but I actually captured this comment a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So it's late. Ooh. Sorry, it's late. Today is Neebs, the Corgi's third birthday. And of course, <laughs> we get to celebrate it with Ark and a little doggy cake. Would love it if you could do a happy birthday for him and my boyfriend, Luke. This was April. The birthday was April 21st. On the next coming in comments, we've been a long time. We've been longtime fans, and we watch your videos more than TV. And I'd love to surprise him with y'all singing to him for his birthday. Neebs and Luke. Kisses. That's right. Two, three, four. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to your face. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Neebs and Luke. Uh, you wished. Don't you remember you wished Neebs the Corgi a happy birthday on Twitter? On Twitter, you did. That's right. But they asked. They asked for coming on comments. Tweet okay. every day. Wow. You know what? Why, why, why don't we give them a car next time? Yeah, a car. Huh? A, car. A, car. a nice, like maybe like I don't know, a two two thousand eleven GMC Jetta. Sierra or Jetta. Yeah, something nice. I saw a video the other day. It was like one of those little cars that you put kids in, but it has like you know they can drive it. Mm-hmm. Little kid driving a car. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I guess this had a <laughs> remote. You're all staring at me like, what's this no, guy we're not going on? Like, yeah, Please yeah. call yeah. listening. We're, we're telling listening a story, to you, all right. jackass. Maybe a, mm-hmm. Yep, I know what you're talking we're about. Yep. We're just waiting. Okay. Anyway, this guy had like a, a remote control for it. Uh-huh. And his, uh-huh. Th- thank you. And a dog uh-huh. sitting in it. <gasps> and he's walking like 10 feet back. No. Dog's just driving through <laughs> oh, town. Oh, yeah. All the pedestrian area. Probably a fat uh-huh. dog, too, if it's so lazy it's got to be in a... <laughs> well, he, if he's not fat already, he will be. It's just gut hanging out the side of the car. <laughs> anyway, that made my day. Happy birthday, Neebs dog. Not my dog, but Corgi uh-huh. Neebs. Here's an arc comment uh i won't elaborate too much oh man these are wordy and i'm a bad at reading things and you picked them i guess you want me to do it uh this is from dins dinsensu you want to read it yeah no, you read it makes again. it e- easier on you did you guys create new characters for extinction or even ragnarok instead of retaining them from scorched earth it seems like none of you were able to access the replicator indicating that you don't have the replicator tech gram which you got when you killed the manticore please tell me you didn't erase the most meaningful bit of progress you've earned over the last three years. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. I think he should always read your comments. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to dive in it too much, but I assume by the time this podcast comes out, uh, Thick will have tried to do that. I don't and, know. Does that uh, happen this weekend? Uh, mm. I, think, I think he tries this weekend. Maybe I don't last think this weekend. This weekend, it might happen the next weekend. Uh, so this, just l- this is look, a spoiler alert then. I don't want to spoil too much, but. Uh, we we're going to be trying to do that very soon. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and we, yeah, we have our old characters, or we 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 have some of our old characters. Maybe, maybe we do, maybe we don't. Yeah, yeah, you have to watch the show. <laughs> even though I just told you we do. <laughs> yeah, I know because I don't even know how to edit. What what am I not supposed to tell people in this? Ah, uh, but bang, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> lost in space. Hopefully, this was so confusing that even if we gave you information, it wasn't clear. I'm in the house of me. I'm in the house of me? Yeah. Oh, still, me? still can't believe Dralis couldn't just pick a side. Just pick a house, Dralis. I did. I picked the house. Of you? House me. Okay. So. You know what? Honestly, it would be an interesting world to see what, what Cersei does to oh, it. Mine right oh, here. no, I know. Like, that would be fun. If I was strictly going for, like, entertainment value, I'd probably want to see that crazy bitch win. No, I'm with <laughs> I mean, you know, she's got plans. She's nuts. She's, yeah, she's bad I gotta shit. I got to catch up on this show. She's bad shit. Is it Cersei? Is that the one? Cersei, I think, right? Wait, or Cersei, whatever Cersei, this. Cersei. The one that, the I know. one, the I'm one. Yeah. It might not be Cersei. I'm talking the, It yeah. might not be her name. I the don't remember. The one that used to bang the brother. Oh, sure. Yeah, the brother banger. The oh. night slayer. The yeah. sister slayer. Wait, the blonde? Or no, the king no, slayer, no. I mean. Okay. The, there's yeah, the blonde. No, the king slayer. No, I mean, the king slayer. Is she a blonde? Yeah. yeah, she's a blonde. I think of the other white hair. I remember a blonde. I've only watched, watched the first se- oh, I watched watched the first the season, season, but this was like years ago. Did you so like I it? Forgot it? Yeah, I remember enjoying it. Really? I really like um, um, oh, t- uh, t- Tyrion. Tyrion, yeah, Tyrion Lannister. One what's that? The- what's the actor's name? He's great. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the the yeah, 
Is, is, Aquaman, name, is Aquaman in this show? No. no. He was in Destiny. That's not Aquaman? <laughs> he was no, in Destiny Aquaman's until they kicked a, him no. out. The fuck's his name? Oh, God, yeah. And listen, Why if you're somebody who would never watch this kind of thing, I'm also that person, and yet I still like it. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Peter That's Dinklage it. is Peter great. Dinklage is God, wonderful in this show. Or at least that one season I watched, he was good. No, he's, he's one of the best season, parts of it. Without a doubt. Okay. So, Simon, you like it. Yeah. It's a soap opera. Because you quality, and I have similar man. tastes. We, we do. We, it's like different called, things. No, you've it's, called good taste. You've convinced yourself that I'm like in this weird, different world of taste. I don't think it's me. No, he gets this. He, I mean, he he knows he knows this is a quality show. I know it's a quality show. He has. Here's he, what here's what I wanted to happen because I, I did watch the first season and then I remember enjoying it. But I want I want everybody to finish. The entire thing, and I want you two or whoever watches it. I want you guys to tell both tell me it was well, good. I'll tell you what's and interesting. It was worth the go all the way through the whole damn thing. This season is beyond the books, okay? Which is interesting. You know what I mean? It's going to be the dream ending. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I really that could be good or bad. Facing the wrong way, the whole thing was yeah, in his head. I'm gonna, do, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a little nerdy here, but uh, Dragon Ball Z did that, where uh -huh. they started and then they caught up to the writer, right. mm -hmm. and then so the producers of the show were like, "We gotta write our own stories," and, and of, it was, and it sucked. Yeah, and I wouldn't say it sucks, but it, I don't know. I it's feel been like all building up to this, right. okay? Yeah. So it's, but it's are they even the are they collaborating with the writer at hope, all? In some how would way? you not? Yeah, how so, the fuck would you not? I mean, right. I don't know to what degree, but I mean, there's so many damn, um, but it's. Characters same writer, with, though. What's that? It's the same writers writing it, right? Well, it's the the author, the, yeah, author. the author, and then I'm sure he's got a collaborative with the producers and all that shit to okay. figure out this final season. Sure. All right, but I, yeah, I I, I just want to hear that it's I, I, my, what scares me is going through a show like that and then getting a lost. It's not going to be like that. It yeah. can't be. Like it, yeah. it cannot be because no, everything's wait. explained. Wait. You like, see, lost. Yeah. Oh, wait. oh wait, they were creating shit and lost that they just they didn't have to answer. This is a lot more grounded, okay. not in reality, obviously, but. All right. um, well, I want to hear that it's satisfying and it's worth going all the way through. There's only I, so many endings. Nothing in there. I hate more than in a, in a show is a which ending do you want? Piss poor ending. I don't know. I just want it to just be like satisfying. satisfying. Well, I mean, there's only so many endings in a story, really. Yeah, but I want this to be satisfying. Yeah, you can understand do. that. Yeah, a lot you want of people. It to, you want it to feel like you can put it to bed, right? And go, that's it's over. Like, oh, wow, that wrapped up everything. I'm good. I can step away now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not too to, worried about it. I hope it. that happens with Endgame, like uh, the new Avengers movie. I'm sure that that's coming out next I've week. Heard, I've uh, heard uh, already some things yeah. and it's blowing minds. Okay, well, yeah, I don't want to oh, hear good, hear good things. But huh? it's not going to end. Good things. But, good but things. there's a but there's going to be a continuation well, but there. But this is of like this is yeah, there is I mean obviously it's going to continue, but this is like the end of an era. Right. You know what I mean? So this mm -hmm. like like I feel like I don't want to watch any more superhero movies for a while after this one. It's like okay, I'm done. But you will though. You'll watch one next year whenever You're not going to watch the next Spider-Man. I don't know if it comes out reviews Homecoming. are like glowing maybe i'm watching it okay. i don't care if everybody hates it yeah i'm gonna watch like, it. i just feel like I'm, I'm getting burned out on superhero movies it's been what 11 years almost it's when been a run it's, it's crazy i mean it's been a great run marvel's killed it mm -hmm. and shazam was good yeah but uh yeah it's like oh man i feel like i feel like it could be done for a little while mm -hmm. but you so, won't be but i want a satisfying <laughs> no, like, i want no. a satisfying yeah. ending i want i want in game to end and like, okay, that was great. I'm going to walk away for a little bit. Uh, that's the feeling I want when I leave the theater. It's like, I don't have to watch another superhero movie for five years if I don't want to. Right. Cause but it, good. Yeah, you're right. Because you're never going to go to a movie to watch something, to the theater to watch something like The Green Book. You never will. What, uh, the Green Book? Exactly. So, yeah, you're always going to go to the theater the to watch it. movies like that. Oh, like, yeah. No, I like superheroes and... You know, your inner child stuff. Yes, no, I love big, dumb popcorn At a movies. theater, though, that makes perfect sense. Yes. Those are the kind of ones yeah. you, you Yeah, I don't want to waste movie watching, I don't know, drama. Like, what, like that's you. not theater money to me. But like, like I saw that, um, what was the, the vi Vice, the Vice, Vice? Yes, Vice. Vice. I saw that in the theater. It was it was really fun in the theater. Like, I don't know, it, it and it's not a superhero thing by any right. means. Right, and, uh, and, 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 and I, I enjoyed that movie a lot, yeah. but I was like, I, I'm... I, if I saw it in the theater, okay, it had I, that, could've, no, I couldn't give a shit. Anything, but it had that like quirky, uh, you know, the way he edit, uh, that, that just the way they make his movies. It's, uh, I don't know. It was I good mean, theater shit. I mean, I never, I haven't seen it yet, which I do want to see it, but I could see that being something that, yeah, you just watch it at home. At home. Yep. But yeah. what's fun about seeing it in the theaters, when you want to see something that you don't want to wait. Yeah, that I was don't want to wait two weeks. I don't want to wait two months before I can before I can rent it and stream no, it. No, if it's I'm something you really want to see. And that was that yeah, Even that if it's sense. not worth it, it's like I've gone see movies all the time that, you know, it's, this is not a movie movie, but I go, I want to see a movie yeah. and this is the only thing I really want to see right now that's in, so I'm going to go. Yeah. yeah, I saw that day came out, for example. So, yeah. You got another one, Neves? Yeah, well, this one was actually, the first time I saw this was on Twitter. Uh, Shasha Boom retweeted it 
And there's some other uh, names here. Uh, uh, Fangikins and uh, Irish Pickle. Kung Fu Kiddo is tagged on this. Jet City Rascal. Anyway, it, it was about PLGX. And then Shasha Boom sent us a package. Sent mm-hmm. us all. It's, uh-huh. got, it's yeah. got this little pledge card and little bracelets and the armbands. Uh, and it's just kind of a pledge of, of world peace and supporting each other and, and love. And I thought it was great. And I don't really want to read this whole thing. No, but it is great, but, um, but it's certainly not great enough for you to read the whole thing. I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think Dralish should read it in his, his uh, audiobook voice. Loving community. 500 of us are about to descend upon our homeboy's hometown. This means good times, laughter, and honestly, our impact on the very community our Neebs crew lives in. I've decided to wear this band as a pledge to bring my best foot forward, cleaning up after myself anywhere I visit and making plans that keep the safety and respect of the Neebs community in mind. I want to bring a mass wave of peace, support, and kindness into Wilmington to tie to the reputation of Neebs Gaming. I want to be an example of their desire for world peace. I also want anyone around to know if they see this armband and need a hug, an ear, or some help, I'll do my best I can to keep them safe. Help them out or even just be a friend. This is a symbol of my pledge to be in support of any of you the best I can and a reminder to myself how grateful I am to be one of you. PLGX. That's awesome. Isn't it? Yeah, I love it. That's one yeah. of the things I loved about going to RTX is whenever we, we would speak to someone who had never heard of us or our community, they were just like, man, that is a, this community is very positive, very supportive. That's, I mean, that's something to be proud of, I it's think. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. it's great. It's so cool. And so, like, really just open. They could see somebody walking up, like, almost like a deer in headlights, you know, like, hey, what's going on? And they're just so inviting to say, hey, how are you? Mm-hmm. I want to introduce myself to you and, you know. A lot of people that were at RTX were people who were not comfortable in social situations. Yeah. But mm-hmm. people from the community said, come on out. It'll be fine. We got and you back. And they do. And it's, yeah. it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Introvert types, whatever. Yeah. They're shit. It, there's, a, there's a comfort level that just uh, goes uh, around the community. That's pretty badass. There was one guy who was outside of one of the bars in RTX, if I remember correctly, and he was hanging outside for a while. He was not going to go in, but he totally felt comfortable hanging out outside until eventually at some point, because we were kind of floating in and out. And then later on, I saw him inside. <laughs> there you yeah. go. And You're it was just like, oh, man. All right. I mean, he was just on the very inside, but he was inside t- sitting down. Yeah, starting to open up with some people. Yeah. Beautiful. Very cool. Beautiful. Anyway, I love it. You guys are amazing community. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Absolutely. Damn straight. Was that it? That's it for my comments, yeah. I want to pimp a friend out. You mind if I pimp a friend out? Well, it depends. Is this a cousin you can't remember the name of his band? <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's similar to that, but... Uh, Are you going to no. sell them for sex? No, nothing like that, That's... but I, I had a couple drinks with a, a friend of mine that um, uh, Neebs knows as well. I don't remember who else, but uh, she's uh, she's absolutely batshit crazy, but in the best way. <laughs> <laughs> she grew up in the sticks outside of uh, Wilmington, uh, but... She was like trying the acting thing for whatever. And then she did the whole old story, like drive cross country to LA and started a band, a little three piece band that plays at like Whiskey A Go Go and Viper Room. And she's got a show coming up at the Regent Theater. I think it is. It's a big theater in LA or whatever. Regent. But um, I heard some of her new music. I'm like, damn, like it's, it's so, she's fucking crazy. You'll see it in her music and stuff. But Beck Black. Yeah, I had a couple drinks with her last night. Yeah, she is oh, crazy. Yeah, I remember so, her. Yeah. She was on a reality yeah, show she used to for a while, right? Yeah, I worked right with now. her for like a couple of yeah. years. She was on a limit date. She was the only guest that's ever oh, been God, invited yeah. back yeah. to a limit date because yeah. she's so entertaining. Yeah, she is. She's nutty, but like I give her so many props for just having gone out there and made something happen like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she's like, she's she wears the confidence. You know what I mean? That's yeah. that's what's intriguing about her. She doesn't give up fuck so that's why <laughs> people in la if you can be a, a band that's playing all over in la you know you've got to have some there's oh, got to yeah. be something that's appealing about you you know so how but, do people um, see her music what's or, that oh beckblack.com beckblack yep i just wanted to pimp her out because she you know she the, yeah, the like new the stuff i heard stuff. of hers was was really interesting man and like she's got a good performance quality too like uh seeing the videos and stuff she's uh yeah she's crazy but Awesome. <laughs> I just wanted to pimp I'm her out. intrigued. She's I'm got intrigued a, um, too. I guess represented by, uh, what's it, Live Nation or whatever? Yeah. Which is like the big MCN yeah. of the music world these days. Mm-hmm. I don't think she does very well with that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, it just, I think they're bigger than... MCNs usually work out. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> like, you know, when things get so big that they don't have a soul. It sounds like that's how that works. Oh, uh, yeah. They just take on any... 
That's what a YouTuber. Like. Yeah, but um, I was just gi- giving her some love. I think she deserves it. I love, I just love uh, stories like that. Just self-made dive-in kind of a story. Yeah, no, I mean, you got you got to have, um, you got to be brave enough to just take a risk like that. Yeah. You know, that's not an easy thing to do for anybody to say. And keep I'm with it. Go out here and I'm going to do it and keep with it. That's yeah, that's the that's biggest the thing. That's the key too, yeah. really, cuz a lot, a lot of people early. do get into it and We 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 uh got closer when we drove down with Warzel to oh, that God. audition. Oh in yeah, Atlanta. I've heard this story. Oh my god. I mean that, yeah. <laughs> I told that story a long time ago, so we had a bonding trip. <laughs> Put it that way. Oh, Warzel, you know, Warzel just farting all night, you know. <laughs> and she's like, "Oh god." <laughs> Until she just got up, I could see her now. Got every cleaning product in the hotel. Oh no! <laughs> Sprinkled the floor with fucking <laughs> carpet powder shit, and because he was farting all fucking night. <laughs> oh god! Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyway, beckblack.com. All I just right. pimping her out. She deserves it. I think. She's Not fun. Rebecca Black. Not the Friday girl. No, she was Rebecca Black until Rebecca Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, you know what I'm saying? Until that Friday sucks. song came yeah. out. And she was already established with her music a little oh, bit. Like, no. Starting, and then like, that God song hit. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a nice hair one name. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's hilarious. Imagine some other <laughs> Neebs fella. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Goes like mainstream and all it's of a sudden nobody can right find her stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, Turns that's... into like a, like a serial sex offender. Yeah. We're looking Perfect. for this Neebs guy. Like, That's got to be frustrating. You get out there, no, you know finally that. starting to make a name for myself. <laughs> yeah. And then this fucking Friday, teenager puts Friday. out this one song. Fucking song. Yeah. One song. And she has the same name as you. You're like, oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so that's, a, yeah. Wow. Yep. That's a, that's hilarious. Anyway, yeah. Well, damn. Is that good? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Good talk. Yeah, Very, good times. It's always fun. So, uh Yeah. Let's wrap it up. We'll go have dinner in a bit. We'll wait forever for Simon to order his meal. And we'll see you next one. Yep. It's <laughs> <laughs> the knob. Take it down and take it. Take it down and take it. Take it down and take it.